Howdy y'all, Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today I come to you with a lesson for our algebra friends, and that's on fractions. And remember, a fraction is just a division problem. You will learn how to combine fractions, how to multiply fractions, and how to cross cancel fractions. You must know math facts, you must know your math vocabulary, and you must know how to do order of operations. You'll need a pencil and some graph paper. And that's just because I think graph paper helps to keep your work nice and neat. Fractions. What are fractions? A fraction is a part or parts of a whole object. So we see there we have an object and we've divided it into three parts. And that means it's division. We divided it. One is our numerator, and that tells us how many parts you are dealing with. And the denominator tells us how many parts were in the whole object. So in one third, there's one part from three parts. First thing you want to do is learn how to combine fractions. In order to add or subtract fractions, you must have a common denominator. Now this is a crucial rule that you must remember, whether you're in uh, algebra, geometry, or calculus. You need to remember that in order to add or subtract fractions, you must have a common denominator. Let's check it out. Two-thirds plus one-half. They do not have a common denominator, so we must use a common multiple of two and three. And we know that three times two is six, so there's our common denominator. And so in order to get 6, I would multiply 3 by 2. Whatever I do to the denominator, I need to do to the numerator. And therefore, 2 times 2 is 4. And then what would I do to the 2? I would multiply by 3. And so I do that also to the numerator. And 1 times 3 will give us 3. And 4 plus 3 is 7. And our fraction is 7 6. There we have it combining fractions. Multiplying. In order to multiply fractions, you must multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. Pretty uh, straightforward. So 2 times 4 is 8. And 3 times 5 is 15. We get 8 fifteenths. Uh, we need to reduce it, but we don't care uh, to have mixed numbers. And since 8 and 15 cannot be reduced, we're good. Dividing fractions. In order to divide fractions, you must flip the divisor and multiply. So, 2 thirds divided by 1 fourth. Let's flip it over and multiply. 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 1 is 3, and we have 8 thirds. Again, it doesn't need to be reduced, and we don't want mixed numbers. Canceling. Canceling is possible when the numerator and denominator have one or more common factors. And you want to learn about canceling because this is a very important skill when it comes to algebra, algebra 2, pre-calculus and calculus. So 2 thirds times 1 fourth equals, and rather than just multiply the numerators to the denominators and then worry about simplifying, let's cross cancel and simplify uh, this way. The common factor of 2 and 4 is 2. And that's going to give us uh, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1, and 3 times 2 is 6. And we don't have to cancel out. That was awesome. A mixed number is the sum of a whole number and a fraction. And we don't usually want mixed numbers. Uh, we want to get rid of them. So let's learn how to use or how to change the mixed number because they're not very useful to us in algebra. So we're going to change it to an improper fraction. 3 times 3 is going to be 9. And add the 2, that gives us 11. And so then now we rewrite the fraction and we have 11 thirds. An improper fraction, but very useful in algebra. All right, let's do a practice problem. 2 and 1 half times 5 and 1 third. First thing I want to do is get rid of the uh, 
improper fractions. So I'm going to change the improper fractions. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 halves. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16, and voila, 16 thirds. Now, can we cross cancel? I think we can. So let's cross cancel. 2 goes into 16 8 times. 2 goes into 2 once. And so 5 times 8 is 40. And 1 times 3 is 3. If we cross cancel properly, then there is uh, no need to reduce. It's already reduced. And 40 divided by 3 is our fraction, or 40 thirds. Recap. We defined fractions. We combined fractions. We multiplied and divided fractions. We cross canceled. And we worked with mixed numbers and a practice problem. As usual, if you have any questions, send an email to mrkazi at mrkazi.com.